I feel total respect for this site. I think the indigenous people chose the mountains at Tierra Dentro because they are special. We should preserve these tombs and show them to anyone who comes to visit them. These are the remains of people who once lived in these mountains at Tierra Dentro. And we should look after them as if they were our dead, from our family, that we buried in these mountains in Cauca. This is northwestern Colombia, in the Cauca department, in the high mountains of the central Andes. The Spanish name this region, Tierra Dentro, meaning inner land. The indigenous people fought for a long time to defend this inaccessible stretch of land. Today, the National Archaeological Park of Tierra Dentro is an archaeological reserve. The treasure concealed within it is not to be found on the surface, but several meters underground. Where we will discover invaluable evidence of the past, tombs dating back to pre-Columbian times. I'm going to show you an underground world where the dead await us. These unique tombs dug into the ground are known as hippogeer. You enter them via a shaft. A spiral staircase leads to the entrance of the burial chamber. It has been carved into the tuff, a semi-hard volcanic rock. We are in tomb number nine on Alto de Segovia. This is the main chamber of this tomb. It was a ceremonial space. These hippogia are houses for the dead, for this new life which was just beginning for them. We find various sculptural forms inside, carved using materials such as andesite and basalt. All the work was done by hand. This is a tribute to the dead that this civilization wanted to leave for us, a historical legacy for local people and for foreigners. Over 60 years ago, archaeologists discovered about 100 hippogia in this remote region. Thanks to carbon-14 dating, we now know that the tombs date from somewhere between 630 and 950 AD. Each chamber is composed of alcoves and pilasters. Once the bones of the dead had been exhumed, they were placed in these burial chambers. There are multiple tombs here. This is just one alcove, but the tombs had several alcoves. The tombs were sculpted using bits of basalt and andesite as chisels. These tools were made from volcanic rock and were used by the indigenous people to gradually sculpt these tombs. You'll find the shapes of faces carved into the rock. The eyes, nose and mouth are very well defined. You could say that they are the guardians of this tomb. There are also two columns here, in the centre. They support this house, this house for the afterlife, for the transition between life and death. We can also see paintings, most of which are of geometric figures in red, black and white. The diamond shapes represent the afterlife and the passage from life to death. According to researchers, the funeral rites consisted of two stages. The primary burial in a shallow grave, then the placing of the body in a hippogeum. At Tierra Dentro, there are 162 hippogea. This is tomb number eight, one of the most impressive and most representative tombs at Tierra Dentro. 
It is one of the deepest and highest. These spiral staircases are typical of Tierra Dentro. This descent also symbolizes the passage from life to death. On these pilasters, you will find sculptures. Unlike in the other tombs, here we see people with their hands in a fetal position. That was one of the ways the dead were buried. On all of the pilasters, we find these figures adopting the same position. There is a wide range of colours in this tomb, and we can see that the carving is very delicate. It is different from the others. It is perfectly preserved. Behind this column lie the ashes of Álvaro Chávez, one of the archaeologists who worked on the dig at Tierra Dentro. This was one of the tombs he discovered. He worked here in 1972. He wanted his ashes to be buried here, and the institute authorised it because he contributed so much to the research into the hipogea at Tierra Dentro. Throughout the 20th century, the hipogea attracted tomb robbers and treasure hunters. They caused a lot of damage to some of the tombs. Today, the site is protected, and in 1995, it was recognized by UNESCO as the most important legacy of pre-Columbian culture. This is tomb number 28. There are 16 urns in here, which were found completely intact. This is a very simple tomb, consisting of an entrance shaft with ladders and a chamber without pilasters or columns. It is incredibly valuable because its funeral urns are intact and still contain charred remains. These urns have been kept just as you see them today. We have intervened as little as possible because we wanted to present them to the public in situ. I feel total respect for this site. I think the indigenous people chose the mountains at Tierra Dentro because they are special. We should preserve these tombs and show them to anyone who comes to visit them. These are the remains of people who once lived in these mountains at Tierra Dentro. And we should look after them as if they were our dead, from our family, that we buried in these mountains in Cauca. Thank mm -hmm. you.